What's up everyone? So today we're in our final beach destination on the coast of Oaxaca. If you watched the previous videos, you'll know that we were in uh, Puerto Escondido and then Mazunte and Zipolite. And now we've come to a spot called Huatuco, which appears to be very different to any of the other places. The other places that we went to were like more sleepy beach villages, kind of like a hippie vibe. And from what I read, this place is more like Cancun or Los Cabos, the bigger uh, tourist destinations here in Mexico. I think the same government agency that deals with tourism developed this place, the same agency that developed Cancun and Los Cabos. So before the 80s, this place pretty much was nothing. There was no tourism at all. So everything's going to be fairly new. And yeah, we're going to find out more as we explore this place. So here we have the main marina right near where we're staying surrounded by like apartments and hotels all pretty fancy looking I think the only other marina that we've seen was in Los Cabos right in Mexico yeah I think so like like this yeah. you know in Cancun there are many boats and but I don't know if there's a proper marina like this I think there probably is we just didn't see it we didn't see it yeah yeah but in Los Cabos uh, in the main center there is a marina like this as well so these boats that you can see here are actually tour boats. There's loads of tours around here. So I think the tours are more to other beaches and stuff. I'm not sure if they have like the whale tours and the dolphin watching tours like in Puerto Escondido and that area. But yeah, you can visit some other beaches that I think can only be accessed by boat. So about five minutes from our place, we have this little main beach here in the center, Playa Santa Cruz. You can see there's some like jet ski activities going on. Also got some banana boats. Haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, it seems like there's loads of restaurants. Check out the size of this restaurant here on the beach. You think we should just hang around here first? Yeah, yeah I think so. The yeah. water looks inviting. Yeah, it does. Really nice uh, shade of blue here. Before we continue, I'd like to talk quickly about the sponsor of this video. So Surfshark are a VPN provider that allows us to keep a private connection anywhere in the world, keeping our data and information safe from potential hackers. It also allows us to bypass censorship. In some countries, some websites or content are blocked. So by using Surfshark, we're able to unblock them. Another big benefit to us is that it gives us access to all 15 of Netflix's libraries. For example, Carol really likes to watch the series Friends over and over, and Netflix recently removed it from a lot of the countries, but it's still available in the UK. So by connecting her laptop to the UK server on Surfshark, she's able to access all the Friends series still. Other than that, Surfshark also allows unlimited devices, so you can connect all your family's devices just using one account. In the description of the video, we have a link with the code Jumping Places that will give you 83% off and three months for free. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee, so if you decide you don't want to continue to use it, you haven't spent any money. As you can see, like no clouds at all. It's pretty much been like that the whole time we've been here. Zero clouds. I think they say this region has like over 330 days of sun. So yeah, an incredible amount of sun.
and you can probably see this giant pier here goes all the way out there so that's because there's actually cruise ships that come here so i saw some pictures with some giant cruise ships right here in the the bay yeah if you search on google watupu you're gonna find you're gonna see many pictures with like a giant cruise ship in this bay it's kind of weird actually the yeah it's weird how it fits it's, here yeah because it's so big and the, the bay is not that big but <laughs> yeah, it fits in here somehow. And this place now has an international airport, I think. So I think they have some direct flights from some places in America and Canada. That's also one of the reasons it's dead right now, because normally I think Canadians escape the winter in like February and March, but obviously I think they've got some restrictions right now. I think they have to pay loads to quarantine if they go back to Canada, so yeah you basically see no canadians at all right now i think that's another reason why this this part is so dead only locals really like these guys playing over there they're not tourists not international ones anyway So those drone shots probably gave you a better perspective of how this place looks and that's why I love the drone you can kind of find other spots that you can potentially visit as well so just over there in the distance along this coast there was some amazing colored water it was like absolutely transparent I didn't even realize you could get water in this region like that and even behind this hill here there's a whole other marina that I didn't know existed too so even that place looked cool with nice water and I also saw a part, another beach just down the coast here that has a road access in it. That seemed to be nicer than this beach. So I think in a bit, we'll probably try and get a taxi and head there. It doesn't seem very far. Here we have that fish that uh, blows up. You see these around a lot. Dead, dead one, obviously. See all the spikes. So this is our second beautiful beach of the day called Playa La Entrega. Looks even nicer than the one we were on, right? Yeah, the water seems to be even clearer than the other one. Yeah. Yeah, the water's super clear around here. So this one has this nice walking area right at the side. Get a great view of the beach, all of it. 
I checked the banana boat here as well. <laughs> oh, look how clear that is though. There's another little hidden beach over there, right? I wish we could go there, but we don't have the wet bag. We yeah, we didn't bring it. We should have brought it. Well, this one ain't too bad anyway. That water looks amazing. That might be actually the most transparent water we've seen because even in the Cancun region, it wasn't really transparent. It was very blue, but not clear. Blue, but how do you say like blue, but also cloudy? Yeah. This is different. It's beautiful either way. Yeah, this one is completely clear. this spot guys just one family here so I only found this spot because of the drone flight before I saw there was like a little hidden hidden beach to the right which is this one and that other one to the left that you saw at the start so yeah, that's how we knew this place was here. Luckily, we could just walk on the rocks to this one quite easy. And this part also has the same kind of ultra transparent water. Look at that. That's crazy. This place looks different to anywhere that I've seen in Mexico before. Yeah, even in the nearby areas like Zipolite, Mazunte, it's just different. Yeah, it's nothing like this. No. Did really? you see the cactus? Over there. Oh yeah, loads of cactuses. Over there. <laughs> this is actually reminding me more of like the Mediterranean area with the rocks and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've, well, I've been to France only, the south of France, but maybe Croatia is similar. So yeah, what we've like seen in the Greece pictures. or something like that. Yeah. Where it's kind of rocky. Beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. If you come at a different time of the year, this would all be a green. I think the taxi driver, we just asked him, he said around July when the rain starts a bit. It's because there hasn't been rain for forever. So yeah, that's why all the leaves are dead and it's kind of like brown now. Yeah, it kind of feels like we found some hidden gem in Mexico here because there's pretty much only locals. I know there's obviously the COVID situation and everything, but every other place we go to still has loads of tourists at the moment since Mexico is open. But not this place. We just see one or two every now and again, but it's pretty much just, I would say, like over 90% locals. The hidden gem of Mexico. Yeah, I think we found it. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I never heard of it before either. I'd only heard of Puerto Escondido. Puerto Escondido. I think we only found this place while in Oaxaca already, so we were here and we didn't know about it. Yeah, there you go. Huatulco. Incredible place. So we don't have any snorkel gear, but yeah, you don't even need snorkel gear. You can see all the, the fish around here. Oh, there's a beautiful blue on there. Let's go under.
Come back to the main beach now. Also reminds me a lot of like a Mediterranean beach. And we got this cool restaurant here. Check this out right on the beach. Even have a part at the top. Even better view up there, right? <laughs> yeah, and they just give us this for starters. Some places give it for free and other places they don't bring it, right? Yeah, we, we like when they do. Yeah, free. we like it. More food. You put some chili on there. No, gracias. So I got some grilled fish and Carol got, um, what is it, grilled fish but with, with garlic. Garlic sauce, yeah, something yeah. like that. And this was 180 each. The food coma is real. Yeah. I ate too many tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of you guys have been asking us how this region compares to the Riviera Maya since we've spent so much time over there. And I guess, uh, yeah, you're kind of trying to decide which place to come to, this, this coast or that coast. And they're completely different. There's like nothing in comparison at all, right? No, um, maybe the food only, but uh, overall, they're very different and the beaches look different, of course, you know, in the Caribbean side, they are more blue, the water is more blue and the, the sand is whiter, but we, we also like this area as well. As you can see, this beach today is very beautiful. Nicest one yet, I think. Yeah. The nicest area for beaches so far. I think you know, like the Riviera Maya, the reason it's more famous is because it is more mind-blowing. You obviously have like the cenotes and like Carol said, the Caribbean style beaches. So I think on this coast, you don't really see things that are mind-blowing. It's all very attractive, but like you can go to some cenotes and be like, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen or one of. You're probably not going to get that kind of thing over here. But overall, we actually prefer this coast, I think, right? Yeah, that's why we kept extending our stay here, I think. Yeah, it's gonna and, be like a month. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think it's uh, more laid back here, it's less touristy and a bit more affordable. In a lot general. more a lot more affordable yeah in general so yeah like here we can stay right near the beach and usually pay what around like 30 40 dollars mm -hmm. but on the riviera maya coast usually 30 40 dollars we're in like the city center yeah. miles away from the beach nowhere near the beach so yeah there's that kind of thing you can surf here as well so it's more like a surfer hippie kind of towns not this yeah. place this is a bit more just local but all the other ones were more like surfer hippie, hippie places yeah. Well, there was even Zipolite, which is like a, a new town. So we definitely prefer this coast, but I would say the other side is actually more beautiful. But for just atmosphere, yeah, we just like this place better. Better place to stay for a longer time, I think. And we'll definitely come back to this area. Yeah, for sure. We love it here. the place that we're staying as I mentioned it's right near the the first beach that we went to like five minutes walk so 
yeah, really a convenient location. But I guess everywhere is here because the, the town is so small. So this was $38 a night. So we've got quite a nice big kitchen here. And it actually has two floors. So yeah, we haven't stayed anywhere with two floors yet. So just up these stairs here, got this uh, seating area here. Through here we have two beds in this bedroom and AC. And then over here we got a yeah, pretty good bathroom as well. Nothing too special. There you go, but no warm water. We don't really need warm water though, cause um, yeah, it's pretty boiling. So it's nice to have a cold shower. So hopefully you've enjoyed all these videos from the coast of Oaxaca. As we've mentioned in this video, we've absolutely loved it. We were only supposed to stay two weeks in Puerto Escondido, and then we were supposed to leave to Chiapas. But then we just kept visiting these other places like Mazunte Zipolite here, cause yeah, we just like the coast and the, the atmosphere. So yeah, it's just been a great place to relax. And we're still not leaving Oaxaca, <laughs> believe it or not. We found this other like mountain place, indigenous village in the mountains about three hours from here. That's pretty popular with the tourists. It's like another hippie kind of place. So we decided to head to that place. It's called San Jose del Pacifico. So we're gonna go there, spend a few days there, and then we'll finally get onto the new state, Chiapas. So yeah, that's what's coming up. If you like this video, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you around.